Welcome to NERV. NERV is a VST and audio unit plugin for Macintosh and PC. NERV integrates directly into your host sequencer and will follow your host's transport and tempo. Up here in the top left, we have a menu which allows you to select from the various data types that NERV loads. You can see by default it says drum kits. If I click on the word, a menu appears with submenus containing all of the drum kits that NERV comes with. If you create your own drum kits and save them, they will appear in this menu as well. A drum kit is a collection of 16 pads, their corresponding pad settings, and the sounds that those pads use, all embedded into one file on your hard disk. These arrows to the right of the menu will navigate through the various data types. Presets are a file which contains the entire machine state of NERV. In other words, the drum kit information, as well as all of the pattern information. It's the same thing that automatically saves if you save your host song. I'm going to select a preset here, and you'll see that NERV will load the sounds, as well as the pattern information. If I hit play in the host, you can see NERV is now synced along, playing the pattern. The arrows in the top left will allow you to navigate through different presets. So in other words, to load the next preset, I just click this down arrow. And you can see that new sounds as well as new pattern information gets loaded when I do that. If you like the pattern, but wish to change all the sounds, you can load a drum kit. Drum kit will keep all of the pattern information intact, and just load the 16 pads and their corresponding settings. Again, you can see all of the default drum kits which come with NERV. Let go, and you see those sounds have now loaded. This makes it very easy to mix and match various patterns and various presets. You can also load individual pad patterns if you just wanted a specific hi-hat part or kick drum part. You could load a kit pattern if you wanted to try an individual variation. A kit. kit patterns are the stuff contained on an entire pattern. In other words, these A through L buttons. If I wanted to say Bring in another variation very quickly for the song I'm working on. I could click on an empty slot here in the top and select a kit pattern. It makes it very easy to bring in fills or variations and whatnot. For you. Let's take it a step back and go over everything starting from scratch. You can see there is a menu button here which brings up functions you may wish to use in NERV such as loading, saving, and initializing. I'm going to initialize everything and bring NERV back to its default state. Let's load a drum kit so we have some sounds to work with. And now I'm going to show you recording a pattern very quickly. Right now, on our current pattern, we have no chain. In other words, we're just using this one bar of sound. And that's how I'm going to leave it. I'm going to start with just a one bar pattern. It's very easy to do. You just click the record button here, and that tells Nerve to record any MIDI notes coming in for these pads. Or if I actually click on the pads, it will work as well. You can see because click is on, we now hear a click. And I'm going to play a very simple beat.
Let's go over modifying some of these sounds really quickly. Again, clicking on the pad will bring up that pad settings. Grabbing these white points will move the envelope. Grabbing the hollow points will move the curve. Navigating into the pre-calculated effects that Nerve can apply to the sound file ahead of time so that when you're actually playing back, these don't take any CPU. This pitch is a granular pitch shift. It maintains the rate of the file. Alternatively, you could use repitch, which is more like how a sampler does it, resampling to make it faster or slower in addition to the pitch change. There's a pitch bend, which is really powerful for, say, turning even a sine wave into a 909 type kick, and a bend amount control as well. You can control click or apple click on Mac to reset these values. There's a soft clip, which applies gain without a harsh clipping. A ring modulation. Bit reduction. Sample rate reduction. A pulse width modulation. Snap, which will boost the transient with a wave shaping function and gently crossfade it back into the original. So you're left with a punchier version of the original sound. You can also go negative and remove some of the punch. There's a stereo spread, which is an FFT based effect to either remove or boost the center channel. This particular sound is mono, so it won't do much. And then we have some resynthesis effects. These would be better demonstrated on a simpler sound that you can see the waveform better on. So I'm going to solo up a different pad instead. Here on the kick drum, you can see the sign command is removing all of the harmonics from the sound, leaving you with just the sine waves. And you can go negative as well and pull out the fundamental altogether. You can also resynthesize it instead of sinusoid into saw or subtract the sawtooth. And similarly, square wave. Triangle. and subharmonic. And lastly, a fuzz type wave shape or distortion. And quickly back to the pulse with modulation. So you can use all of these effects at once if you so desire. There's also a normalize, reverse audio sample, and a bypass if you want to A-B between the unmodified and modified versions without having to reset all of these parameters. We can click the pre-calc button to exit back out.